Here we are exploring eigenvalues and eigenvectors of n by n matrices. So let's begin by recalling what we already know about eigenvalues and eigenvectors in regards to 2 by 2 matrices. So we know that lambda is an eigenvalue of matrix A when matrix A is non-invertible or singular. Now we also know that this is true when the determinant of matrix A minus lambda times the identity matrix is equal to zero. So now that we have recalled what we know about eigenvalues in two by two matrices, we are officially ready to extend these ideas to n by n matrices. Now we say that the eigenvalues of an n by n square matrix A are precisely the solutions lambda of the following equation. The determinant of matrix A minus lambda times the n by n identity matrix equals zero. Now, this equation is called the characteristic equation. And when we expand the determinant of matrix A minus lambda times the n by n identity matrix, this produces what we call the characteristic polynomial. So with this being said, we can make the following conclusions. If A is an n by n matrix, we know that the characteristic polynomial will be degree n. So an n by n matrix with real and complex coefficients will have at most n distinct roots. In other words, n distinct eigenvalues. So now that we have extended the idea of eigenvalues and eigenvectors to n by n matrices, we are ready to explore the procedure for finding these eigenvalues and their corresponding eigenvectors.